on the bro, Joey Zaman here. I'm gonna talk to you guys about why it was so important for us to read the lease and see what we were actually getting ourselves into. So just a recap to what my other video was about reading the lease. So one of the things that we didn't do was read the lease or know about the lease. So my family didn't know, my friend didn't know anything about owning a restaurant, running a restaurant, or even the leases and contracts all involved. So a quick recap, but just in case you can't watch the whole video, was make sure you get to know the terms, whether it's going to be triple net, double net and see uh, the square footage that you're going to be paying per square foot see what the comparables are at make sure you use an attorney or commercial real estate broker agent to help guide you and to go look through the contract with you but that aside let me talk to you guys about how we almost lost this business to us opening this restaurant was my grandma she would work two jobs mexican restaurant work hard and come home stressed and angry Typical things that would happen at your regular day job. and But she was strong. She was strong. She never gave up. She kept on working hard these two jobs. And no matter what would go on, she would still manage to go every morning and stay at night to all these places. But now, what caused my grandma to just completely jump ship from her two jobs and come and try to look for a restaurant was mom. My mom was working as a waitress at this job and she was making okay money, but it was stressful. I mean, working with people that are competing with you on the tables and tips and really know the structure well with others because everybody was, you know, sharking for tables and things. And it led to one day that my mom just completely lost it. She just couldn't handle it. She ran home, left mid shift and went home and cried to my grandma and basically told her she's never going back to please anything, anything to that her and my grandma could do, she would much rather do that and fail or make a little bit of money than go back to work as a waitress. And that's all it took. That's all it took my grandma to just jump ship and be like, we're opening up a restaurant. She gathered all her life savings and we started looking. We were looking at many other buildings. We went really far out of San Antonio uh, and other places of town and we ended up coming here. Um, a friend of a friend let us know that this business the person that was running this business also had a hair salon and was having troubles managing both businesses. What, when we came and we talked to the person that was running this business, we let them know that we were interested in looking for a building. Well, we ended up negotiating and we bought this business, the name and everything she had bought before. So we bought the stove and all the pots and pans to get us started, which was awesome. It was crazy that we ended up coming into this business, buying this business out, the name and the location, the tables, everything that came in the business. Again, it was secondhand, nothing new. Everything was, you know, it was kind of dinged and scratched, but it, hey, it did the job. So it was perfect for us. So let me just show you guys how small the restaurant was. I'm going to walk back, see how really tiny this place is. This right here, this is how big the, the restaurant was when we first started. The kitchen right here, the small little... Uh, area where you place your order and then a small little waiting area so it was really small but it did the job it, it definitely opened the door for us to get started selling which is perfect for us a few months into being in business here and we started to try new things trying to bring people in we ended up getting the worst news which was the lady that owned the door the the owner of this whole building wanted out she was gone. She wanted to sell the, build, the business, the building, and she wanted to go and do something else. Horrible. We tried to talk to her about, we just started, you know, give us a chance. She was completely out. Not She was not being mean or trying to kick us out, but, you know, she just wanted out of a, uh, of the business, of owning this, this dry cleaning and this whole building. She wanted out. So, it just devastated us. We ended up having to figure out how to to negotiate. And at the time, our competitors, which was up the street, another taco restaurant, ended up coming and looking at our business. And we had to see these people that were interested in buying the business. Now, we only had this part, was small part of the business, but it was the building, the whole building. Who knew if they were going to give us a chance to continue working here? Who knew if the restaurant was going to even be here? So we were terrified. But luckily, we ended up talking to um, 
the owner of the building and we let her know about our situation, about how much it meant to us. And we poured all our life savings and we wanted to continue. And she gave us a chance. She gave us a chance to continue. But she So she let us know that she was gonna work with us and let us buy this build, building from her. At the time, this was a rundown neighborhood. It wasn't the greatest, you know, every downtown and most of major cities, they're not the greatest, you know, and this was no exception. This side of town and downtown area where we were at, it wasn't a very hip and cool place to be. It was, it was a little bit run down. So the building didn't cost that much at the time. Well, we ended up working on a deal that we would give her a large chunk and we would end up paying her the rest in payments. So it all worked out. We ended up selling two properties that my grandma owned. This is the bad part right here. Well, as we were paying the business, it was a lot to us. It was only like $1,300 a month and it was hard. We would end up paying the landlord, I guess the owner of the building, we ended up paying her in in pennies and quarters sometimes because we couldn't make enough, but that didn't stop my mom and my grandma from continuing running this place, even if we were having to pay in quarters. And it was crazy that even the person that was selling it to us, she would count quarters with us to make sure that we had enough. You know, everything was going into place and then we got a call. We got a call from the bank saying that this property was in default. It had back taxes, it was delinquent and they wanted a cash. So it just blew our mind. You know, we were just trying to get, get some momentum going and it just seemed like we were getting some momentum and boom, we would get hit and knocked back down on our feet. So we ended up having to talk to the owner, the landlord, the one that we were paying, what was going on? We were paying her and we don't know what she was doing. The money that we would give her, she was not paying things. She was like a payment and it would just cause us problems. We didn't know. So we ended up having to talk to an attorney, make sure that everything was gonna be settled. We ended up talking to the bank to let them know, let them know that we wanted to know but how much she owed and that she was making sure to pay it, it was it was getting really sticky you guys it was getting really bad for us we didn't know if we had to sue her or what or we were out that money it was definitely difficult that's what scared we were thinking we we're going to close this business it just seems as more and more time goes by that it was just hard to make to keep this place open but that didn't let us quit we kept on going we made sure we paid, we got situated with the bank and the, the owner of the building. We wrote down everything in contract. In, in a contract. We made sure we talked to an attorney. He helped, he helped us write a contract where it was gonna be sold to us the right way. And that's how we almost lost his business and never opened it. And that's why you guys, I suggest you guys talk to a person that could help you uh, a professional that can help you read the contract, make sure everything is in writing and not fall into the wrong into the wrong situation like we did, which would have bankrupt us. We would have lost all our money. We would have lost our dream. And it was for something so simple, just of reading of the contract, interpreting the contract. And you guys, I just want to finish this story on a good point. Something that all you guys can attain. Something reasonable. Something that if you work hard enough that you can make a good living, buy stuff, work simple. This is a small operation. We don't open late at night. We don't serve beer. You know, we don't have live music. We just sell regular Mexican food at a good price and a good atmosphere. And it definitely has work. So this is attainable with you guys. And it was all within the boom that helped us out the most to continue this business. And as San Antonio is growing every single day, as new businesses are coming in, our little business is still strong, it's still here, and it will be here. And it's producing, and it's taking care of our family, and you guys could do it too. I hope you like that story. That's a real life story here that happened at this restaurant, and I wanna to touch more into it to let you guys know I'm just glad that we continued and we could still have our doors open and it ended up in a good note. Please like this video, drop down a comment, something you want me to talk about. I want to tell you guys a story, the story of the restaurant. Been in your shoes, 
trying to open up a restaurant, trying to see information and other creators. I'm just in between. We're not making millions and millions of dollars, but we make a good living and we're here and we're staying. So please like, subscribe. See you later, bro. Hasta luego.